två, tre. Hello everyone, my name is Eric and I'm here back here now with Janshi. If she can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I just got a chat message. Okay. Well, <laughs> Apparently someone heard, heard me yelling at the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Can you fix it in post? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's was Kindle Bear, so it's alright. <laughs> Hi Kindle Bear. Welcome to Janshi's stream. Yeah, Sundays. Well, it's not a good day to do streams, but well, we give it a try anyway. Yeah, it's just sitting back, relaxing a little bit. Not doing too much. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I have two viewers. I don't know who you are, but welcome. <laughs> <laughs> at least there was only one hearing me shouting at the kids because they don't want to go to sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So, what was? What, I what think it is the doing? four hills. Old Arcovia. It is. Yeah. Oh, then I went to the wrong place. One moment. Uh, cross the bridge near Twin Falls to enter Homestead, and I think it's somewhere around here. Uh, for some reason, I have a cross over roy a royal remedy. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hi there, guys. And I seriously need a. I oh, 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 sorry, that's you. Oh, that's me. And uh, yeah, uh, wait, I have. Where's Eric? I cannot hear him here. Okay, we oh, do boy. have some problems apparently with the sound balance. Okay. Well, I can't really increase too much the volume. That's on your side. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying I also... to figure this out because. Uh, yeah, I apparently have some video problems uh, to YouTube. Wonderful. It started Can recently. Hear... I don't understand why. Can hear both here, but not on YouTube. Yeah, I can see why because for some reason my computer isn't. Isn't Why it receiving is... the sound? No, apparently not. You right. can only receive sound from my headset. Why? Alright, uh, let's go to the camp and then we'll start fixing shit. So <laughs> yeah. So we don't uh, suddenly get uh, attacked. Yeah, and I'm going to pause my... You can pause oh, Maybe I need to have it, have it on so you can hear if... Yeah, if anything happens. Eric's, Eric's get back. I in worst case, I have to restart everything. Okay, we'll see then. Uh, fingers crossed, everyone. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't know what's wrong, actually, because I have everything... Well, I don't know. It's... There are many things that could be problematic. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what it is. I can no. Thanks for uh, showing up. By the way. <laughs> Do I have to restart everything? Because that would suck. I'm afraid you might have to if there is a sound issue. Yeah. But I I'm just gonna check in game, so I haven't done anything. But that should just be the game volume. Can you hear the game? Kinbear? Oh, well, we'll see what he says. Yeah. I mean, we've had this problem before with um, me not show uh, being registered as a voice. Yeah, I know because <laughs> Are you... for some reason my volume doesn't cover the computer. It usually does. It has the microphone on my headset and then I have... Uh, I mean, you can try this. <laughs> it says here to I'm me that here. I was just sitting at home watching the grass grow outside, so has the gra grass even started to grow yet? Alright, so I started... I changed some... Can you hear Eric now? From, on, on, from Twitch? <laughs> hey de ho de hi de ho just to make sure that I'm making some noises over there. Yeah. 
because I think th there is a problem with my with my streaming platform because this does not look like that. Oh, there we go! Finally. Uh, I'm being heard now. Uh, well, well, wait a few moments because I uh -huh. think there's my platform that's acting like an ass <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Can we get to the game <laughs> now, please? <laughs> Why aren't you... There we go. All right, mm -hmm. let's try now. Say something. Well, my name is Eric and I play video games with my sister two days a week. Yeah, can you hear him? Yes. They can hear they can us. can hear you now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, there were some issues with my platform. I'm using player.me and for some reason he didn't want to use the computer games, uh, computer sounds. Hmm. So weird. Yeah. But anyways, it's fixed now. Yeah, it's fixed now, and hopefully you can hear us both on both YouTube and Twitch. Yay! Uh, he's like 30% louder when... than you. Oh. Alright. Oh. Let, let's, <laughs> let's just fix this then. Yes, okay. Uh, what? You don't lo love the sound of my voice? What the fuck? <laughs> Was that better? <laughs> now I went back to the settings that I had last time. I think that was better. Mm -hmm. Is the sound balance better now? Or is it uh, still off? I hope it's better now. And my dog is just begging for attention. I don't know what's the matter. Uh, he wants to make sure that you're all right. Yeah. He's showing yeah. you the love and the floof. Yeah, my little boy. And he has no idea what I'm saying right now, but he's happy anyway. Yeah, he's just sitting there going, <laughs> Me good boy. Mm -mm. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> that makes me think about Moving Pictures by Terry Pratchett. Good boy, laddie. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Alright, should we try to do something? Yes. Oh, come on. <clears throat> I just have one hand to play with right now, because my dog wants to... He wants to... Petted. He wants petting. Yes. He wants some belly rubs and, and attention. Yeah, he wants some attention. I don't know why. Oh, oops! Whoa, hi there, stone Didn't tusks. Didn't mean to. I need a better gun. Piggy, 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 piggy. <laughs> Uh, or whatever that is. Well, I did upgrade since last time, at least. Yeah. I would love to. I get... I get all uh, other stuff, like swords, and yeah, you got my legendary sword. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, bless you. Sorry. Uh, thank you. I was trying to turn off the microphone, but I didn't have time. <laughs> uh... Was, where was I? Uh, microphone, dog wants attention. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Never mind. But there's one thing we're going to talk <laughs> oh, about no, today. You know? day. Now it seems the monsters in the game want to hog all attention. Of course they do. Woo! Arsonist. Dum bum bum bum. Oh, we're back here again. Yeah, we're not done here yet. Tonic. Uh, I da -da -da. was gonna say that I don't get any guns. I get a lot of other stuff, but no guns. <laughs> hey, Griffin. It says here, technology is advanced. I can watch streams from the toilet. <laughs> I hope you have a good time in the bathroom then. All right. <laughs> no oh, more questions about that. There's a star. We are gonna go to. Yeah, we need to go all the way around. From this again. hideout entrance, so we have to go all the way around. Yeah, once well, more, you know. Yeah. Better repeat it. Well, oh, okay. At least I can hope for some drop of some um, guns. Well, yeah, we can uh, at least hope that there is some guns being dropped today. Yeah. <coughs> Oh. Um, <clears throat> I Sorry, have a glass of liqueur here, and it kind of hurts my teeth now. 
What? You had some what? A glass of liqueur. Ew. Para liqueur, actually, to be more exact. But I can oh, feel now that my teeth are like ah. The falling out. <laughs> Almost. Uh, I wish I had some tea or something. My throat is killing me. <clears throat> well, if you want, we can take another break and you can go and get some tea. Nah, I'm fine. I'm cutlets. just gonna sound like a croaking frog. Or a <laughs> bitch, maybe. I'm gonna sound like the old hag I am. Ah, it's not <clears throat> that bad. Come on. <laughs> well, I am freaking old. <laughs> Ooh, right, um, Jacoby, what? you got yourself a glass of Zubrufka. Are you drinking it neat, or have you mixed it with something? Uh, what now? A Zubrufka, a Polish... Um, well, as he writes here, I got me a fresh glass of the grass-fed vodka. Oh. It comes with a... Um, a, a yeah. Okay. Um, it comes with a piece of grass with it in Ugh. in the bottle, oh. like, like hay. And, yeah, and I have two viewers. I don't know if one is Jacoby, but if it not, if it's not, and uh, there's a new watcher, welcome to this stream. Welcome. Uh, he says here, uh, I'd recommend Dayquil, but it's illegal in yeah, it's illegal in Sweden. So yeah. Instead, ask the doctor for morphine, apparently. <laughs> oh. Uh, Kindle says, do you feed your vodka grass? Yeah, you do. Uh, and he drinks it neat, which I kind of suspected. Um, Zubrufka mm -hmm. has a little bit of a story behind it, because it has a picture of a bison, I think. Oh. Uh, on the front. And uh, the story goes that uh, the grass that they put inside the, the bottle is the grass that the, the buffalo peed on. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so uh, delicious. That's nasty. <laughs> I know. But it's actually quite oh, a no. tasty vodka, though. Yeah, there's a. I just need to take care of some trash here. I'm trying to. I need a way better gun because of this. <laughs> Kindlebear uh, appears to believe that that kind of vodka is not tasty at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think I agree with him. That sounds nasty. <laughs> Lies and slander, says Jacoby here. <laughs> I kind of agree oh, with him because I like that vodka too. <laughs> there are stuff all over the place attacking me. I'm gonna stay over here. Um. Well, Kindle, that's your prerogative to feel if it's nasty or not. Oh, a way better gun. Yay! Yeah, well, I'll Finally. just pick up all of this crap and then I'll probably just sell it. Let's see, how far are we? Oh, there's some food over here if you want. Ow! Uh, I, just, I just picked some up. Who? Who? You little bastard. The big guy had some food in his pockets, I guess. So I just picked it up and ate it, like any sane normal mm -hmm. human would. Uh, Jacobi says here, I mean, I'm the authority on alcohol. You become one once you drink an Order of Yoni. I can't remember what that was again. Well, he's, he still haven't been drinking Bavi yet, so... That's no, he hasn't, count. and I've told him about it. Ugh, it's off. It's so freaking disgusting. No, it's tasty! No, it's awful! Uh, Kindle would prefer some um, some whiskey instead, and I kind of agree with that. It was a while ago for me, so I had some whiskey. Yeah, I haven't had any whiskey either. Not not even now when I was sick, because I had to take medication almost all the time. So, well. mm -hmm. yeah, you okay up there? Ah, uh, yeah. The most nasty okay. thing I ever tasted is Ore vodka. Oh, I haven't tried that one. But, um, oh, that sounds suspicious. Yeah. That sounds like something you you try to trick tourists to drink. Ah, right. Okay. The Order of Yoni is uh, as uh, now he reminded me. Uh, Jacoby writes here. It's the beer, you know, that particular one that costed nearly five hundred and fifty dollars per bottle. The one that yeah. is made in a very certain way. Oh. Yeah, and I I, I might That's drink it someday, but. Huh? 
That sounded ominous. Yes, it kind of is. <laughs> Alright, so we're supposed to go this okay. way. Okay, Ore Vodka tastes apparently like arsenic and acetone, according to Kendall Bear. <laughs> right. That's a well, good description. I can tell you that Bear uh, Vajal, it tastes like something you had dug out of your, um, uh, your grill the barbecue, uh, the day after a barbecue. <laughs> Mm hmm It's about that bad. I think that would be tastier, actually. Well, uh, even Jacoby agrees with him here. He isn't lying. Ore vodka tastes what acetone smells like. Ugh. Oh, we could have taken a portal down here. Yep, which I did originally. <laughs> but uh, we didn't know where oh, we were going originally, so... No. I'm kind of lost. It's... A long time since I played this part of the game. Yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the last time before that, you know. I actually have played through almost all of the base game. Oh! Let's you know, what, what's he saying here? I even ate durian fruit before I taste Ore Vodka again. Durian fruit. I never tasted that. Yeah, and Jacobi says here, it's an extremely chemical and offensive taste. It tastes what Americans think vodka must taste like. Oh my god, I kind of feel sorry for them. Ugh. Because vodka is smooth. Otherwise. Yeah, well, it's supposed to. You can get, I mean, you can get bad moonshine and that tastes like... Ugh. Remember when grandma got bad moonshine? <laughs> I try to forget, but I never will be able to. <laughs> <laughs> we come from a really crazy family. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, our grandma, our maternal grandma is way younger than you would think a grandma should be. She turned... she turns 80 this year, damn. Yes, she does. I always forget that. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, Kindle says here he tried uh, durian candy a while ago and that it uh, tasted like gasoline smells. Oh. Yeah, sorry, let's continue with the story though. Nah, I don't have anything else to nah. add just that, to that. Just that our maternal granny is uh, a crazy lady yeah. that doesn't act her age. <laughs> nope. Well, uh, it's like I used to say, I don't know how to act my age, I've never been to this age before. <laughs> Jacobi says here, uh, durian fruit can be used as evidence against evolution. <laughs> Kindle says eternal granny? <laughs> and, a oh, and apparently the durian fruit is that awful that it's actually a very good proof against evolution. <laughs> durian fruit, is that the one that smells that bad? The one you found in Thailand, maybe? Yeah. The one that the hotel made us throw out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, we should have realized that it was that one who smelled. <laughs> it kind of smells like sush drumming. Yeah, well, sush drumming at least smells worse than it tastes. At least. <laughs> nah. It tastes just as bad. Oh, it was just food. Yeah. Nah, I'm not a fan of it, but... Um... I mean, there's a lot of people who eat it around here, but I hate it. Disgusting. Like our paternal grandmother. <laughs> yeah. With your husband. And my, and, and my husband. And his father. And his father's wife. Uh, okay, Jacoby. So okay, sorry here. Kindle Bear. Fermented tofu, durian fruit, ha karl, and surströmming is all about similar in nastiness. <laughs> Jacoby writes here. Durian fruit, I kid you not, smells like rotten carcasses and tastes, tastes like gasoline mixed with that black liquid that collects in the bottom of the garbage. It's banned in most places for a reason. Yeah, and uh, surströmming smells like durian fruit. 
So now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Um, <laughs> we can go southward from here. We haven't explored that area. Oh, I got a crossbow. I want to use that. I'm gonna save it for <laughs> later. <laughs> uh, Jacoby writes here that sushrumming is tasty, and if you disagree, you are weak and will be removed in the great calling. Ugh. <laughs> I'd rather eat a rat. He has, oh, so. I, I, I found a special. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, he found me. I don't know. Somebody found someone. Yeah, and he's kind of nasty. Ooh, oh, that's a plague walker. Oh, yeah, he has a lot rain. of friends. Uh, let's see now. Uh, at least they can ship durian with planes while sushrumming is banned. Lul, that's true. Yeah. You can't bring sushrumming no. on a plane. No, I know my husband, he's working at the Swedish company called ABB. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of uh, work with uh, in China. Doing a lot of... I don't know what I, what I should call it. The, the infrastructure. Of, yeah, work. Chinese infrastructure. So, as part of this, uh, ABB sent a lot of workers to China. Stop. Go. We're going south first. Oh. We haven't discovered that area. And they, I mean, the Chinese came to Sweden and they brought some things with them, and the Swedes went to China and brought some things with them over there. And well. The Swedish people decided to bring Sustramik. And Chinese customs are very, very picky. I can yep. tell you that much. They, they confiscated it. And uh, deemed it not suitable for human consumption. Which is kind of funny coming from a Chinese person. <coughs> e yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> and here I feel I should say, I'm not a racist, but... <laughs> Can we say stuff goat? I don't know. <coughs> uh, I didn't hear. What? If the uh, I don't know. Kindle Bear asked me, did he say stuffed goat? Uh, I don't know who he is referring to. If there was someone in the game, I can't really hear the game. So I don't know. I don't think you said anything that sounded like that. No, but uh, it might have been a short interruption. Kindle Bear, racist butt. Yeah, of course. I mean. Uh... I'm a white, heterosexual male. I have to be <laughs> racist by default. Oh, you, you're the evil of this world, you know that. Yeah, I am. I'm the Satan of this world. <laughs> okay, now we can continue north. Now we at least right. check this area. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't attacked by some bugs while we were doing this, this time. True. And yeah, Jacoby, you're right. No matter what I say, I'll never be as overtly racist as Tim. <laughs> Oh no. We we don't know if he's kidding or not. Sometimes we, we kind of worry. Oh, alright. It, it's yeah. at that level. Oh, that's really hard to say. You know, the, where I live in Sweden, there is a huge collection of something called NM. NMR. Which is Nazis. <laughs> Jacoby knows about them. <laughs> We've had yeah, a lot of discussions are, about them. Yeah, and they are really unpleasant. Yeah, well, they're, they, they're, they're white they supremacists, their so... Freaking kids are all over the place. And apparently, when you're uh, one of those people, you cannot raise your kid kids, either. You don't know what discipline is. Oh, interesting. Apparently. Well, you do, but there's some weird backwards kind of discipline. Uh, they don't know what to do because they can't beat the kids. <laughs> well, they can, believe yeah. me. Uh, Jacoby knows quite well about them because they offered him a job once upon a time. Oh. As a, I think it was webmaster or something like that. Scum of the earth. Uh, we don't need to be in here. Well, we don't. We don't no, have to fight the bugs. No, we don't have to. But uh, they want to fight us, so. Yeah. We're going southwest. Kind of bad tempered. I'm gonna pick up the scrap over here. Yeah, sure, do that. I have a lot of royal jelly now, finally. Yeah, the scrap is kind of good because you can use it later on to build stuff. I, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. you can give it to the blacksmith and he can do stuff. And you know, last time we played this game, 
I've been kind of looking yeah. forward to this. We were discussing Hollywood ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, uh, for ladies. the sake of equality, yeah. we're going to discuss. We were supposed to discuss the men. Today. Yeah. So. Well, we do believe in equality, so. Yeah, I believe <laughs> in equality. So, oh, ooh, oh, that's in. No, not that way. Well, nope. that's the only way we have left. Are you sure? Yeah. Do we have to go that way? Yeah, we should I have finished this, this up the last time we were here. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Kindlebear says the thing, same thing. Oh, right, aren't you supposed to talk about male actors or something today? Yeah. Like you. Stephen Fry, since you talked about female ones the last time. Yeah. Okay. So, older male actors. Okay. That still looks good for their age. Yes, and uh, we can start with uh, the people. Oh, fuck, there's still these things here. Oh no, he's, he's here. here. Let's not oh, aggro. No. no, fuck, he aggroed on me. And we had. We, this took us like Ten half minutes. an hour last yeah. time. Took us forever. So, but uh, I'll start with a classic duo, which is um, Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. Oh, Hugh Laurie, I forgot about him. Doctor House. Yeah, I mean, he's insanely good looking still. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, one of, as Jacoby mentioned, he is also one of my favorites. It's uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, but he's not exactly older. Well, he's in his 50s, but uh, uh, Fry and um, Lori are in their 60s, I guess. I don't know, actually. Uh, I think so. I mean, you, Lori, has been around. Yeah, I mean, when he did Jeeves, Wooster and Jeeves, that's a really that's long that's time That's the ago. early 90s, so... <laughs> and they were young then. They were like in their 20s, so... Yeah. Oh shit. I'm about yeah. to die again. I was hoping we could uh. just, just run through here. Yeah, but apparently we couldn't. Okay, Hugh Laurie is 59. That means that Stephen Fry is a few years older, as far as I remember. Which uh, puts him in the 60s. 61. Thank you for the quick googling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We can Google ourselves, so. Yeah, I love the Google foo on you guys. But uh, let's go on some other <coughs> little bit older gentlemen. Yeah, I have my. I mean, I have my favorite, Sir Ian McKellen. Yeah, I I still have a crush on him. He, I mean, he is. And while we're at it, we have to say, of course, Patrick Stu Stewart. And Stuart no, Tommy Stewart. Wiseau is not part of that list, Griffin. <laughs> uh, Jacoby, sorry. Oh, what's his name? The the guy who plays Denethor. Um, he's not, he's not John handsome, Noble. He's, yeah, John Noble. I mean, he is an incredible actor. He's not, ha I wouldn't say call him handsome, <laughs> but he is, I mean, he can play this meek, kind of mellow, little old man but he can also have can, a temper and then he can turn around into this impressive demanding and well, their kind kin of king yeah kingly character uh, well l uh, noble uh, yeah pun intended yeah uh, kin assessor I mean, how about anthony hopkins absolutely absolutely uh, although and Mark, mm -hmm. and Mark Hamill, as we talked about last time, yes, still very handsome. Yes, although he's long dead now, Claude Rains was quite handsome both in young and old age. I don't know who that is. No, I don't remember either. I know that I'm he has shown me before, but I can't remember now. I'm trying to think of someone else that I can name <laughs> that, is, that is a bit older. Gary Oldman. For God's yes. sake. Of course, Gary Oldman. Can't forget about him. Um, also not a really handsome man, but still an incredible person. I just want to mention is... Um, oh, damn it. Uh, now my brain, I got a brain fart because I'm almost getting killed here. Yeah, it's starting to get messy here, so... Yes. Uh, he was in Flash. Flash is alive. Oh fuck. You guys need to help me now. Big booming voice. Um. Um. 
he played o Emperor Augustus in uh. Uh, I, Claudius. I have no idea. No, but if you saw him, you would know who it is. Probably. He's one of my favorite actors, so... <laughs> That's usually my issue. I can't remember names. That's really horrible. How's Sean Connery nowadays? Yeah, Sean Connery, of course. How can you forget uh, about Yes, him? Klaus Reins was uh, the Invisible Man. You're fucking right. Yes. Yeah, he was handsome, both young and old. Oh. No, I died. Frick. Oh, boy. And we forgot to put up... Uh, a portal, yeah. Portal. Uh, so I have there's to a run. portal now. No, I can Yes, there's a portal now. Yeah, but that won't help me because you have to go through it first. Oh shit! No, it's actually kind of out of commission. No, there it is. I'm on my way. Vincent Price should be on this list. I totally agree about that. Sort of. He's not my cup of tea, but okay. Yeah, I can see some people think. Sam Neil. Consider him handsome. Sam Neil. Also, very handsome man. Mm -hmm. I forgot Even to mention Laura Dern older. just to get the, the both of them in there <laughs> last time. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. Peter O'Toole, yeah, he was quite handsome younger. He had a certain nobility as well, he got old. Uh, uh, no, <sighs> I didn't mean Peter O'Toole as uh, the character I was talking about. When we get a short break later on here, I'm going to check out who it is. And I'll tell you. Well, yeah, I'm trying about. to think of someone else that we haven't mentioned yet. That yes, and uh, I forgot. I forgot, and I got admonished for it. We, I forgot to mention Sigourney Weaver. Oh, yeah, right. She's always been impressive. Though. Yes, she's a very statuesque woman, and she looks damn good to this day. Yeah. Well, there are many of them who does. Yeah. But when you have the money and the time and the personal trainers and everything, holy fuck, there's a lot of monsters. Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, I mean, these crystals. Uh, Max von Sydow uh, is a very handsome man too, actually. But yeah, uh, still not old. the person I was thinking of either. But as I said, I'll check it out. As soon as we're yeah. done with this, because I'm, s I'm almost out of fucking health tonics now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's getting messy. And here. he's almost dead. Come on. Come on, you bastard. I need to, to close this rift too for us. There oh. we go. Finally. Now we just have some trash to deal with. Uh, he's dead now. Yeah, I know. But we still uh, have trash. Yes, of course. Peter Stormer is still good looking too. Yeah, and you have... Hmm, what's his name? Harrison uh, Ford was very Harrison handsome. Ford? He still looks good, though. Yeah, he does. Even though he's getting a bit older, yes. Well, um, honestly, I I love uh, Mel Gibson's wild Saddam Hussein beard. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to say that. <laughs> Okay, right, I, I well, need to go back to Devil's Crossing a little bit, uh, and yeah. I'm going to check now the name of the actor, so one moment. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to follow you selling my stuff. Because I got her a lot of stuff. Uh, let's let's see, now. see now. Brian Blessed was the one I was talking about. Hmm. He's uh, the oldest man who ever climbed Mount Everest and crossed uh, either the North or the South Pole. He did that in his like 60s or 70s. Oh, I have an amulet that you might like uh -huh. if you don't have it already, because I have a duplicate. Oh my God! It's a Stormcaller's gem. Uh, fuck you, Jacoby. <laughs> He says here, we all know Sean Connery was his hottest in the cult hit movie, Zardos. Fuck, you put that image in my head and now I can't get it out. Say what? Uh, Google Zardos. Alright, uh, I'll have to do that later on then. Oh, well, that was great. There we go. And then we have to do something about this. Well, that's a good one. <sighs> Alright. 
Oh, I for forgot to add these and everything. Sure. Mm. Okay, I want to keep there these. We go. You also have Jeff Bridges. Oh, yes, you are completely right about that. Uh, how about Bo Bridges then? Who now? The brother of Jeff Bridges? Oh. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, no. Nope. Jeff Bridges was the big Lebowski. Oh. Dan Aykroyd in his Blues Brothers days. Yeah, but uh, we're talking more about men who are handsome to this day. Yeah, and who are older. Yes. I haven't seen Dan Aykroyd in quite some time, so uh, I don't. I can't really say anything else him at the moment. There we go. And I'm done with selling shit so we don't hold up the stream for too long. Yeah, um, I'm just visiting my friendly <laughs> uh, neighborhood smuggler. Dealer, but, but my smuggler. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see now. I'm trying to think here. I would uh, probably use some of these on my stuff, but I don't know if we can hold up the the stream for so long. Yeah, uh, I would say Matt LeBlanc has actually gotten hotter with age. And of mm. course, fuck me, I forgot. Jeff Goldblum. Oh, of course. Jeff Goldblum, everyone. <sighs> and that guy, he's so cool, he's in his 60s. Married to an Olympic gymnastics. Uh, person. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Who's like 30 years younger than him. Uh, <laughs> and mm. he recently became a father too. Yeah, that's one thing I really don't get. But I mean, they are all grown-ups. Uh, so I shouldn't really have an nah. opinion. I know. Because if you're a grown-up, uh, you can do whatever the frick you want. Mm -hmm. uh, no one should judge. Oh yeah, I forgot. Kurt Russell, Kindle, you're right. I saw him in the Christmas Chronicle. Damn, he was so great in that. And he looked so good with the Santa beard. Alright. He's the one... I totally forgot about him. Yeah, because we haven't seen him in ages. Yeah. I'm gonna wait outside <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw out the, the amulet and you can pick it up. And see if you okay. want it. And thank you, Jacoby. He says here, I think Eric is pretty hot in his older days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh nice. you whippersnapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm right here, so you can just drop it out. Alright, so I'm gonna throw it out. There we go. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'll go... put it on for now and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. So I went to Crowley's and I thought we could just run through. Yep. Oh right, I haven't my hellhound. And my bird. Birdie. I like pets. They're perfect in this. Um Oh, Kurt Russell was yeah, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy too. I wasn't a fan of the oh, original yeah, one, so I didn't see the second one. He was uh, the the big bad guy. Mm-hmm. But as I said, I saw him in Christmas Chronicles. He was rocking a Santa beard, and I've never seen him so hot. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. I'm I going to show you pictures. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have seen him in. in uh, well, I have seen the images because it's on Netflix, and around Christmas is it was everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's a silly movie, Jacoby, but uh, it's definitely worth seeing. Mostly because Kurt Russell is cool as hell. <laughs> uh, he says here also... Uh, no, sorry, uh, Kindle, I mean. Uh, and Jacoby says here... Uh, oh crap, how could I forget Clint Eastwood? How does he look today? I I really never thought he looked good, but... And hey, hey, where are we? Oh, uh, I don't know. Look at but that. There is a portal around here, so I'm on my way over there. Oh yeah, there is. A lot of angry dudes and we're underpowered again oh no 
I see a lot of grind in our future. Yep. Uh, yes, you're right, Jacoby. I'm going to send... The first image is going to be Sean Connery from Zardos. Because you have to suffer too. <laughs> I have to? Yeah, I'm sorry, you have to suffer too. I have if you... been sick for almost a week, doesn't that... Yeah, Isn't and enough? Kindle is right too, Eric. If you want to old guys that might look good, just go for Celeste Stallone and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and while we're at it, Dolph Lundgren. He looks damn oh, good. Oh, yeah, he, he, he has to be quite old right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, I agree with Jacoby that Stallone and uh, Arnold, they tend to look quite good all the time. <laughs> All right, she says, the savage living up in the four hills have destroyed this once magnificent structure. With the bridge gone, the roads to Smuggler's Pass watched out by storms. The way north is barred to, barred to us. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, south of here, the ruined city of the ancient city of Ar Arcovia. There is a passage there through the Arcovian undercity that leads to Broken Hills. Honestly, you Kindle? Would be wise to turn. Uh, I thought Dolph was older than Stephen Fry, so he's only 61. Oh damn, sorry, continue, please. No, oh, that's fine. We yeah. have to go to... Uh, Kill shit. Uh, Got it. <laughs> we have to go another way. Okay. The first time I saw... Uh, Jacoby here says that... The first time I ever saw Dolph Lundgren was him naked as the Punisher in the 80s movie. Oh my god, that was an experience. Oh, the Punisher, yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, for some reason I conjured up the images of Judge Dredd. Oh <laughs> no, that why. was Stallone. Yeah, I know. But uh, the Carl <laughs> Urban why. one is really good, though. Yeah, and... Oh, well, speaking of good-looking men... <laughs> okay, let's go move on to good-looking men in general, <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, the guy who play. Oh, oh, what's his name in The Hobbit? Thra Thanduil? Thanduil? Thranduil? Uh, Legolas' father. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy. He has the most beautiful eyes ever. I can't remember his name, but I know who you talk about. And it's really funny because the actor is younger. Yeah, I know. He's, he's not that old. And I know, I saw the behind the scenes how they were joking about with that. With yeah. Orlando Bloom, and it's like, bitch, I'm fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, bugs. Yes. Uh, also, yes, you're right there, Griffin. Uh, Jacoby. I mean, Thomas Jane. He looks good even today. Mm. Uh, yes, and I can agree that, yeah, even though I make fun of the Stallone Dread movie, it's still one of the best schlock movies I've ever seen of a comic book. <laughs> and actually, the most truthful... Uh, and faithful to the the appearance of Mega City and the equipment and everything. Yeah, I think that that movie, even though it's bad, I agree, <laughs> it's really bad. But it's actually kind of true to the original story. When it comes because to the original story appearance, is really bonkers. yeah, it is. I mean, it's a parody of uh, Thatcher's Britain. Yeah, and I mean, it's not only that, it's just... Oh, we have gone around, I think. Uh, not nope. really. Now we are about. <coughs> Alright, so this is back down here. Oops. Yes, uh, Jacoby, I remember when Judge Dredd took on uh, the fascist McDonald Empire in the Cursed Earth. <laughs> there was actually a, a full episode on that. Yeah. Damn. I mean... While we're at it and talking about comics, mm -hmm. why does comic adaptions always get the... Usually, they are get really bad movies. Because... And even though it's not made by Uwe Boll. Yeah, okay, even though it's not <laughs> Uwe Boll. Yeah. Do you need some food? Uh, no. Ah, apparently I picked it up anyway. No, I, I, I already was full on food. Ah, no, I don't have time to f talk with you. There are stuff trying to kill us. Well, there's this humongous bug again. It's gonna to kill oh, me. Finally, okay. some tonic of mending. Uh, just uh, don't take any decisions over there. I'm still in a fight. 
Yeah, I'm um, trying to figure out what... Well, I guess this guy is no good. Okay. <laughs> Remember he... when Uwe Boll threatened to fight his critics in a boxing, then lost? Yeah, I remember that. I even saw the video of it. <laughs> uh, should we bribe him or should we do attack him? Mm. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> uh, well, he he's, uh, he's not telling. Hold on there, traveler. You wouldn't want this pretty lady's brain to spill uh, all over the ground, would ya? Let's see some iron, say it, is what he says. Then, atta our... then I would say attack him. It's more like he's keeping a hostage. I don't think so. Attack. As if I care about some random person on the road. Die. Attack. I'm turning around. No need to make a mess. Uh, let's just attack him. Oh, uh, well, I don't think so. Or if I care about some random people. Uh, I don't think so. Let's be heroic for once. Uh, Alright. Hey! <laughs> she follows too. <laughs> yeah, she is another bad guy. Although no, it, she's uh -huh. they are dead. Let's get mm -hmm. it. Although it gets a lot of crap, I think the Punisher adaption is good. Thomas Jane had the voice, and the actor in Warzone had the look and the brutality. Warzone? Who who are you talking about now? Whoa. There were a lot of... Yeah, but they die uh. quite easily. <laughs> yeah, um, except for this one. Yeah, Brolkara the Regenerator. There we go. Thomas Jane was really good in... Um, a sci-fi series that I can't remember the name of now. The Void? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, I don't know what Kindle Bear is trying to tell. I get some really strange smileys. Oh, he's trying out the weird smileys in Twitch, uh, on Twitch. Yeah. I mean. Yes, I got a uh, the Binding of Isaac one and the Sloth. Yeah, th they have some funny ones. I like there. Sloths. They are so kind of I. cute. You've seen Sotropolis, right? Yeah, I have. I, I still <laughs> to this day almost die whenever the sloths are in the. <laughs> the flash. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Ray Stevenson played Frank Castle in Punisher Warzone, the 2008 movie. Okay, I didn't know that. I, I thought you were talking about the Mutant Chronicles one. When you mentioned Warzone. A uh, bit of a damage there. And that was... Ooh. Was it Jason Statham? Or was it actually Thomas Jane that did that role? What's in here? Old um, Arcovia. Um, I think we're going in circles. Probably. Okay, let's let's open the map here. Oh, uh, you shouldn't trust me because I'm always lost. No, uh, if we go southwards here, we go into a new area. All right, let's try that. Yeah, because if we continued that way, we would loop back to where we were. <laughs> uh, Kindle Bear says, "I love sloth, ant eaters, and red pandas." Ah, oh, but red pandas are cute. Yeah, they are. They are incredibly cute. The you should, show, Flash you Gordon, should yes. show Eric your tattoos. Oh! Uh, he has some really cute ones. Yes, you're right. The, the classic uh, Flash Gordon movie is pretty close to the original comic, and it has Brian Blessed in it. Yeah. Oh, I remember that since we were kids. Yeah? You know, the, the, the eagle guy is, yells, Flash is alive! <laughs> it was so weird. And there was some monsters, and he was swimming in something that looked like tartar sauce. <laughs> I That's don't know what it was. There was a lot of weird shit when we were growing up. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, I should have said southeast than northeast if we're going to be picky Kindle. Uh. I turned into Super Mario here for a while. These revenants were a pain in the ass. Yes. What was the name of the main actor in um, in Flash Gordon? I had no idea. No, I'm hoping our friends here will uh, Google it for us oh, because I don't remember. We have another uh, one of those, you know, thingies. Uh, a, uh, a shrine. Ornate strongbox. Oops! There are boogies behind us. Huh? 
Oh yeah, here they come. Bring it on, bitches. Or whatever. <laughs> there we go. And Should also, try? the Flash Gordon movie had the great soundtrack by Queen Flash. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Savior yeah. of the universe. <laughs> All right. Ooh, oh, Everon. There have been a lot of strange movies, that's for sure. Yeah, I love the 80s stank horror movies. Never been much for those. I mean, they are too much gore for me. Oh, that's what I love. Nah, I prefer psychological horror. Sam J. Jones, that's right. Sam frickin' Jones. Ooh, there we go. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, even got a soul shard here. I don't know what all these stuffs are, but I'm taking them anyway. I should probably also level up my character. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. People woke what? up. I oh just no. got close to the wall and they woke up. Well, these guys are. Easy to kill, at least. <laughs> Somewhat. Uh, psychological horror, eh? Sounds like you need a dose of Jacob's Ladder, says Jacoby. And uh, Kindle Bear says, Conan the uh. Barbarian is amazing for an old movie. Yes, it is. I never watch Conan. Always. I, g I, I just got so... I don't know. I didn't like the idea. Y you need to love sword and sorcery. <laughs> That's the only thing. No. Um, okay, so... Uh, oh, I got some weird blue symbol down here, so... Uh, as usual, I just run straight ahead in something. Yeah, I'm fighting a Storm Revenant right now, so... I don't know what I'm doing, uh, I'm just pointing and shooting at stuff. Yeah, uh, Jacoby and I have been on an Amiga binge the past few days. Oh. Looking Amiga. up old games for the Amiga. Yeah. Uh, oh god. He says here now, you should watch uh, Jacob's Ladder or In the Mouth of Madness and become traumatized forever. Oh, that's two I've never seen. Yeah, there you uh, go. So we ha we actually found out uh, that um, there was a game called Barbarian the Ultimate Warrior oh? that actually used the sound effects from Conan the destroyer, I think it was. <laughs> All right. Oh, there was a, some quests. Yep, I took it. Have you done as I asked? What? No, we haven't yet. Uh, we are supposed to say Nomos, Dread, Laudos, Vagra, and Rovena Kerr. Okay, we have to find the Undercity. I think we have already. There are. There's the Arcovian Undercity entrance. Oh, entrance. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we just. We passed it there. by. Okay, right, Kendall Bear says back. here, uh, I only watch horror movies when I'm alone. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> uh, fun fact, Aaron Kosminski has been sensationally revealed as Jack the Ripper thanks to DNA evidence. That's new. We were actually talking about Jack the Ripper just a few days ago. Who now? That's fascinating. Who, d who did he say? Hmm. Aaron Kosminski. Uh, that's an unknown name to me. Well, that's a butcher, right? I don't remember. I'm not that well there versed on the... There was a butcher the... who was one of the suspects. Was his name we... Aaron Ko Kosminski? Kosminski? He had, he had a Jewish name, so it could be. You can't get in there. Hmm. Because there was a butcher who acted really strange. There's nothing we can destroy around here? No. The, well, this looks weird on the map, oh. but nope. Yeah, that guy had a lot of stuff on him. Oh, yes, he had. There's also a big uh, star over here. And Jacoby, I have a game for you if you haven't tried it out. I know you like games that are mythos based. Yeah, he uh, likes cosmic horror. <laughs> Yeah, there is a game for that was made for the Nintendo GameCube. 
I don't know if there is it is a, available on any other platforms, but you could play it on the Wii. Uh, and it's called Eternal Darkness. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good game. And um, here's the entrance, I think. Oh, you find it. I'm on my uh, also, Kindle Bear writes here, uh, quotation, DNA of blood and semen found on a scarf next to the body of victim Catherine Eddowes has been sensationally matched to suspect Aaron Kosminski's living descendants. Oh. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Because, oh. Oh, we're doing some dungeoneering? Yes, oh, I'll be and damned. I poked at a wall and entered something that's not on the map. What the hell did you just do? Uh, I don't know. Jacoby writes here that I bought Eternal Darkness when it came out. I still own the original edition. Uh, it's never been released outside of the GameCube. My no, God. I know. But you could play it on the Wii because, well, the Wii were backward compatible with the GameCube. Yeah, but knowing Jacoby, he probably owns uh, GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> I need to return to town because I have too much crap in my inventory. Oh, well, let's put up a portal somewhere then and just go back. Uh, he says here, also, for as much uh, me and Eric love score, I did admit my weakness that the thing makes me lose my appetite completely. <laughs> oh, that's another one I haven't seen. The More thing? Than, well, I know what the thing is, but I haven't seen the movie. Have I watched it with mom when she was alive, so didn't you watch it well, with it us? Could, no, it could be after I moved moved out. He also says wow. here that he still owns his first purple GameCube. <laughs> I never owned a GameCube, but I bought a Wii, so that's... <laughs> I kind of like my Wii. I still have it, and it's still operational, but well, I don't have that much time anymore. No. Uh, the wonders of running your own business. Yeah. And having children. Mm -hmm. You get them and you start to wonder what the, on earth you did with all the time you had before. <laughs> I've heard that being said before, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. Somehow, you can't figure out how you managed to spend all that time. Oh, there's another ring. Let's see now. Uh, Kindle writes here, Aaron Kaminsky was a Jewish-Polish emigrant in England who worked as a barber hairdresser. Oh. And he says, yeah. uh, I own a GameCube controller, but nothing else <laughs> to a GameCube. <laughs> No, but if you own a GameCube and don't own Eternal Darkness, I would recommend you to get it. It's a really good game. And unfortunately, I haven't finished it. I have finished one playthrough, but if you have played it, you know that you should at play it at least, I think, twice. Or is it three times before you get to the relanding? Uh, uh, Jacoby writes here, as me and Eric found out yesterday, if I'm ever in dire straits, all I need to do is sell my video game collection. He has a, <laughs> he, uh, has a lot of old retro games and they are quite oh. valuable. Cool. Yeah, we never had those. I mean, we had uh, the Amiga, so we never had it. <laughs> well, we have Console. a few that are quite kind of that. Yeah, but they aren't original. Mm. Uh, he says here that copies of Eternal Darkness run uh, nearly to $85 right now. Cool. I do have an original, so mm -hmm. maybe we I have, should sell it. <laughs> we have the original Amiga Appetizer, Workbench, uh, Monkey Island 2, and Space Quest 3. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. With the hint book. <laughs> And we yeah. have a lot of um, books and like the copies like you did back thing then. that you had to use to be able to read it. Uh, you needed a, uh, uh, you needed a, like a red plastic band to read the hint book. Wasn't it uh, something that you had to twist? 
Oh, that was the copy protection, th those twisty things they had back then. Oh, okay. So it yeah, wasn't... I, I just remember that it, there was something you had to twist, some kind of... Yeah, you got two pictures and then you, something, something, I can't remember. Yeah, either. you had to turn it somehow and get a code or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just primitive copy protection. <laughs> Let's see now. Uh, Eternal Darkness is a very sought-after game. It's fairly easy to sell because such few copies exist for sale in relativity. Oh, oh that's cool. Good to know. I so if know you need if some I want quick to sell cash, it because I like it. Yeah, but if you need some quick cash. Yeah, but I, I, that's one of my favorite games on the Wii, actually, or well, GameCube. Oh. And as, as I said, I only finished it once. I think as a, maybe two times. Do you have to end it two times or three times? Because you fight for different gods on each playthrough and you kill the other gods. So it's a little bit like Silent Hill. You need to finish it with this and then that and then... <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, you, you, finished, uh, you finish it and... Uh, I broke a wall. Yeah. Oh, I'm back in, in here. secret okay. room. Oh, yeah. well, it's back here again. <laughs> oh, alright. Is there something down here? Oh, there's a chest. And monsters. Oh. Of, of course, course there would be there skeletons monsters. in the skeletal pit. Who could have known? Yeah, who'd have thunk it? Oh. Oh my. Some easy XP. Yeah, we need to do some leveling. Uh, Kindler writes here, I, c I should sell my Switch. I hardly use it. Or maybe I should give it a give away this one as well. <laughs> no, keep it. <coughs> uh, Jacoby also says here that you need to uh, finish the game, beat each time with each god. All uh, right, so which three unlocks times. a fourth god. Yeah, I know, Manoroth. Yeah, the, uh, he says here, the, the flesh-eating god killer. Yeah. The then you get the real of... ending. Yeah. And I, as I said, I only finished it once, so I have the other two gods left. There became, like got the... a lot of enemies now. Yeah, I like the thing that you, you play, you just, you don't play just as yourself. But you move through time and play as other people too. Uh, for those without context, you choose a god in the beginning of the game, and it changes with uh, enemies appear, what enemies appear, and what yeah. they are weak and strong to. Okay, well that's uh, good context for me. <laughs> yeah, you have one it. one god that is I don't know insanity, and one god who is magic. And sanity is something you really need in that game. Because when you lose your sanity, strange things happen. Oh, very Call of Cthulhu-like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you get some fourth wall breaks and stuff. Uh, okay, Kindle Rising. Oh my god. I'll try to pronounce this soon. <laughs> right. Yes, okay. Uliaoth uh, Zelootath. Shaturga Mantorok. How Mantorok is the last god? Okay, so they, I thought they were uh, uh, one name, sorry. <laughs> no, game... that's, uh, that's four names. Okay. That, that's the four gods. Yeah, uh, he didn't put any commas, so um, I kind of mistake, mistook it. Because uh... you, 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 actually, you actually meet uh, Mantorok in the beginning. When you play as a temple dancer, mm -hmm. in the kind of sort of not tutorial but almost. Uh, let's see now. Jacoby writes here: uh, the game is worth playing for the sanity effects alone. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew about them, and still, when the computer said, uh, when the game said that it has broken and my save files were gone, I was almost hysterical. <laughs> 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 and thank you, Kindle, for torturing me in that way. Ooh, stuff. Yes. Lots of stuff. 
And here are some skeletons. <laughs> yes, an entire army. Uh, an army of gnomes. Which is way <laughs> funnier in Swedish. Yes. Uh, Jacobo writes here, that you don't understand, the game gets very meta, like giving you fake GameCube errors. Yeah, and here's some. F oh, here's Nomos. Um, shit, we have too much crap around here. Uh, deleting save files, making you fall through the floor, killing your character. Yeah, there's there's a lot of shenanigans going on there apparently. Yeah, and it starts when you lose your sanity, ah. so you get kind of punished for that. They ah, have some geez. kind of slowdown buff here. Yeah, I'm almost dread. I think it's some kind of freeze mm -hmm. thing. Some kind of elementalism thing. Woohoo! Oh. Wow, what the hell was that? Oh, I think my dog is dead. <laughs> my hellhound. Yeah, not I was about to say, Billy! No, not my real dog. He He's gone somewhere. I don't know where he is. I didn't continue to pet him, so he's dissing me. <laughs> um, Kindle says here, I should start playing Grim Dawn again. Sad it's so bi boring to play alone. Yeah, it, uh, I can see that. Well, you can join us. Yeah, you gotta grind up a little bit and then you can join us. Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, oh, Jacobi says here, as Gentry mentioned, she liked psychological horror. I thoroughly recommend the Penumbra series. Be you like Amnesia, don't you? Yeah, but that game seriously made me motion sick. <laughs> but yeah, I liked it, but well, I can only play it for like 10 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. um, because Penumbra was the, games, the, the game series they made I before that, so... I actually do own all the Penumbra games. Oh, you do? Yeah, I have played the first one, but not the rest. But I own Holy them. fuck! Whoa, whoa, what the heck? That's a gargantuan. Uh, apparently. I'm out of here. Jeez, yeah, Kindle, you can level up something and then you can join us for a stream. Uh, if you he's dare. Making, he's making what? He can level uh, up a character. I'm gonna read my ah! chat after this because it's partly hidden behind the game, so I can't see it. No. He says he could level up something, then he can join us. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter what. Uh -huh. We're just playing for the fun of it anyway. Yeah. This is more just relaxing, having a good time. Yeah, because as I said in all my channels, I only play games because it's fun and not because of. I want to be good. Uh, well, being good <laughs> is always nice. There we go. I blew it up. Yeah, it it came. Oh, there was a lot of text uh, money there or iron. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, we I killed one of them. Yeah. I, as I said, I only play for the fun of it. That's it. Well, and if I don't think it's fun, I'm gonna quit. That's kind Which of what I do too. So freaking close with Neo, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> we should have a, we should have a party each week where I'm just bashing Neo because I'm so tired of it. We can do a live stream of you getting rage quits on Neo. Hmm. Uh, he's making a mess out of your bed, your dog that is, is what Kinbear wrote. Ah. No, he's not in my bed. I don't know where he was. He might have he, gone he, in and lie down with the kids. No, I don't think so. But he doesn't like my bed. It's too high for him to climb up in. Yeah, is because it? he's tiny. Yeah, he's a bit of a wuss, actually. <laughs> so, he he's just, when he wants to get up in the bed, he's just standing there looking at me and waiting that I should pick him up. Hmm. He's not at all spoiled. No, not at all. Um, Griffin, uh, Jacoby writes here, also, news my peeps, Miyazaki, the Dark Souls creator, just confirmed that Demon Souls Remaster is definitely possible, but he won't personally work on it. Yeah, uh, oh, I hope there will be a remaster, because I'm so sad that I can't play it, because I don't own a PlayStation. 
Uh, also, he says here, I warned you about Neo Genshi. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And um, right now, I'm so freaking tired of it. Oh. You have hmm. to grind the same area over and over. The I hope there's a portal down here somewhere. Um, I just want to check this know. area over here. I mean, there was a boss sign on that portal. Well, we did kill a Nomos. Yeah. Now it feels very Diablo. Yeah, I mean, this is Diablo. Kind of. Yeah, considering that we're in the dungeons beating down skeletons and stuff. Yeah, I mean, th this is Diablo 2. Just another premise. Oh, <laughs> he's asking, when's the Janshi Eric co op of G Darius? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, do you remember our type? What for now? What? Uh, for the Amiga? No. Okay. Uh, it's um, an arcade game with really horrendous uh, music. Oh, I found a forgotten passage. Yeah, same here. I thought it was a it was a quest item, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that! Cool. I thought it was uh, um, something else. Here's another chest. Well, I do find a lot of stuff down here. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> just to put it like this, it will probably take some time because I'm going to do a playthrough of our type first before yeah, we even touch G Darius. Well, the, the 22nd the, is the launch date of Sekiro, so on that day I'm gonna play Sekiro. <laughs> You're not going to be available for a while. <laughs> uh, no. But I might do a few live streams of it. Well, you can do that. You can join me if you like. Yeah. Ooh. And here's another one. There we go. Yeah. Woo! Now all we have left is to find the oh. bad guys. Yeah, the rest of the bad guys. <coughs> And that's interesting, Jacoby. I didn't know there was a PC version, PC port of Gidarius. Whoa! There's a lot of shit going on here. Yeah, there is. So, if I, I don't sound like I'm listening, it's because I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> you not, mean focusing on not, not dying? dying? Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to move away from this hole. It's too many. The skeletal knights are really bad. Yeah, they are. But at least we have. I'm at level 26 now, so. Same here. That's uh, something. Also, uh, yeah, uh, he showed me this thing before. Earlier, right before the stream, actually. Uh, it's a. Uh, he says here that if you're, if you're interested in Sekiro, uh, you might. You should check out uh, the upcoming game, Ghost of Tsushima. Okay. Uh, he showed me a little bit of the gameplay, and holy fuck, it's beautiful. Well, Eric can keep the title, so I can check it out later. Mm -hmm. But I'm most interested in Sekiro, because it's a From Software game. Kind of like Dark Souls, but no, it won't be Dark Souls. Unfortunately. He's not Dark Souls! No, I do hope they have the same amount of story, because that's kind of like what I really like with Dark Souls. It has a very rich uh, plot. Yeah, it has. Oh boy. And I kind of like it. I mean, I think... Well, that's one thing I was thinking about when I was playing Neo this morning. That I don't like with Neo. It's, I mean, there's really not a story. You know everything from the start. You you are playing as a pirate or a privateer. And. Uh, <laughs> and that's you, it. <laughs> yeah, and you are to get your guardian spirit back from Kelly. Well, his name is Edward, but here's I mean, a special character. Who the hell names the bad guy Kelly? <laughs> 
that has okay. to be a crime against something. All right, short short break here. I just need to stretch a little bit. All right. Our tape is good and all, but when's total carnage? We're going. I'm going to do that. You remember total carnage? I think I do. Gulin Magad Busfluga. You remember what? those? We were playing what? on the PC back in the day. It was a top-down shooter game, uh, w where you were fighting against like mutated monsters, and you were trying to save some reporter lady. Yeah, I think I know what it is. What the heck is? No, it was just a car with some really, really bright lights. <laughs> Looked like a UFO. <laughs> So, we, we found it recently, and I, I have to do a playthrough of it. <laughs> right. It's so bad that it's funny. I mean, the bad guy's name is Ak Boob. <laughs> that oh, means that I you have so. to play it. Alright, yeah, probably. I mean, I sometimes I think I should try to find the old Duke Nukem and just play them, because... I mean, I liked them back then, but I think that today it's. Oh. You you have to go with the like, yeah. The, I loved this when I was younger, but now I mean, it sucks, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's more or less. You need to have a certain way of looking at them <laughs> when you go back to it. Once more, oh, my inventory is full. Yeah, and we have a star over there somewhere. Oh, Could we go back and sell off some stuff and then maybe yeah. open a portal and we can go and sell because we can open how many portals we like. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, Jacoby writes here. Well, actually, Janshi, the character you play in Neo is a real person, William Adams, an English sailor who worked for the Dutch who got stuck in Japan and became the first Western samurai. Hmm. So this is the, the the story behind Shogun. Oh now we both opened the <laughs> portal. Oh well. Because I remember there was a book called Shogun that was supposed to be like about the first Westerner in J in Imperial Japan. No, all I can think about Shogun is um, Tom Cruise. Oh, you mean the Last Samurai? Yeah. I kind of like that Which movie though. Kind of made me in a bad mood. <laughs> I don't like Tom Cruise. Well, he's a space chihuahua. Yeah, and that's just why I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, blueprint relic? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go visit the smuggler too. Yeah, I need to it. unload some stuff here. I have way too much in my inventory currently. So you guys have to s live with us uh, doing some inventory management now. Uh, yeah, the best samurai to. movie is The Seven Samurai or The Hidden Fortress. Fight me, Sister Kobe. <laughs> oh, I won't because I don't like samurai movies, so you win. <laughs> now you're not funny anymore. <laughs> well, it's not my... Well, I don't like movies. Hardly at all. It's a bad thing. I play too much video games. <laughs> I'd rather play the story than see it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me, Jacoby. He's asking, why is your sister so lame? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. And Kindle Bear only laughs. Hi, <laughs> don't be mean. Uh, uh, no. No. Go away. I mean, I used to... We watched a lot of movies as kids uh, and as young adults. Yeah, we did. Lots and of I horror mean, movies I and weird I had a, a, uh, I had a membership in our... We had a video store in the town where I was living. And I had a membership there. But I don't know, I just got separated from it. Probably again, uh, less time. Yeah, kind of. Go. And I... Oh, no. 
No, I forgot to do that last time, apparently. We still have video stores in Iceland, apparently. Oh! Um, well, we do have game stops. So that's about the only video game store I know. <laughs> and Kindle Bear claims here that y kids, you mean, not less time. <laughs> uh, well, kind of, sort of the same thing. <clears throat> Oh, Derringer. Oh, God, my hands are cold. Are you getting a fever again? I don't know. Well, ah. I do feel better. That's good. Uh, he says that the reason why is that uh, shipping to Iceland is a bit uh, difficult. Yeah, that that's sure. I can get that. Ooh. Oh, whoa! I managed to wake up some ghosts. Oops. What? Where? Uh, I went back. And apparently there were some angry ghosts hiding somewhere. Oh, okay. I think they were hiding in the waterfall. <laughs> Throw your children into the winter forest. If they come back alive, they are worthy to be parented. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. There. I'm still I'm starting to get tired, but I feel like we should try to at least find a portal or something. Yeah, so we can return. Or Sorry. kill the things that we're supposed to kill. Yeah. Uh, well, I can stay up for a while. I mean, it's Sunday and I okay. slept in this morning, so... Oh god, if she woke up the... Jacoby, if she woke up the ghost of Jeff Mangum, uh, we would be in trouble. Uh, Kindle Bear writes... Um, let's see now. As oh, long as you do not off. wake up the kids, it's fine, I guess. Ghosts, ghosts are fine. <laughs> oh, cool shield! I like that one. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, have we been uh, everywhere? Mm -mm. I mean, so we don't miss anything, because yeah. it would suck to have to go back through all of this again. No, we're not done with everything just yet. Let's see now. But we're, yeah, we're kind of basically through everything. Yeah, just so we don't miss anything, because that would suck. Yeah, I don't like backtracking too much. Uh, especially not when there is so much mobs everywhere. Not, not that it's overly difficult, but it takes a lot of time. It's more time consuming than anything else. Mm-hmm. That's freaking annoying. Um, that's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. Alright. We have, like, one shadow down there, but I know it's a wall, so we're done. Alright, so... Ruin entrance, then. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see now. If you woke the ghost of Jeff Mangum, would he follow you and sing ghost fr ghosts from Aeroplane? Maybe. That would be kind of interesting. To be fair though, Silent Hill and Resident Evil made backtracking fun. Well, that's one of the few who made it fun. Oh, Silent Hill. I loved Silent Hill. I played the first and the second way, way back. Oh. And I loved them. I mean, they had their issues with the hitboxes and the fact that you could get stuck on a corner even though you were standing like three miles away from that corner. Oh, we got some super duper guy here. But Please. I actually love, I love those games. And unfortunately I can't get my copy. I do have a physical copy of 
Silent Hills. Uh, Silent Hill 2. And I can get it to work with Windows 10. That's a problem. Yeah. <coughs> uh, remember how the dev team of Silent Hill didn't know what an American school looked like, so they watched Kindergarten Cup and modeled the school after that? Yeah, I remember that. Oh. They even reused certain images from the movie. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, it's even more interesting that the fact that those who made uh, Silent Hill, they were the team Silent. They were punished for doing bad stuff. Uh, disappointing their employers. So they were stuck in this really weird place. Ah. I think it was some kind of um, trailer or something. Or barracks that they have to work in. Oh, fuck. That thing hurts. So... Oh god! And they managed to do this really good game. And I don't know what Eric is doing. I'm fighting a level 30! Oh! Special well, character! I have, I have a lot of level 28s on my ass. Ah! He's chasing me, I'm the blah blah! Um, no, he's not. No, there's his attack. He's doing some kind of... Ice attack? Yeah, AoE ice thing. Whoop. And he has aggro Run. on me. Lower draw. Oh, that's one of those we are supposed to yes. kill. Yes. Uh oh, he disappeared. And he's very, very tough. The guy who oh, made that's... the CGI cutscenes in the first game in the office and would go without food because of the hours he worked to get the rendering correct. Boy, they had a tough job. Yeah, I mean, they were punished. They, <laughs> this wasn't some cushy job they had. And they made something that's so amazing. Yeah, they did. I hope they got a fucking bonus because of that. Oh, uh, they were working for Konami, what do you expect? He's... gone? No, oh no, there he's he is. He's following me around now. <sighs> there we go. Oh, no, I picked up the Wrath Blade. Uh, could be something for you. Eh. You know, we have different um, loot here, so we'll have a look at that later. I can throw it out, I can move over here and... Th oh, let's see, there's the Wrath Blade. There oh, we go. Nice, thank you. I'll have a look at this later. Let's continue, because it's 10 o'clock and we're starting to get close to the end. Yeah. But I feel like we shouldn't just stop, we should find a good... Good save point. Yeah, good save point, so... Probably when we have gotten through all of this, because otherwise we have to do it again. Yeah, and I don't feel like doing this again, because... Wow! Now, those special characters want to play with. No. So... Oop. Oop. Ambush. Sneaky sneaky. Um... Okay, Kindle Bear writes here, does it matter what difficulty I start on, by the way, in Grim Dawn? Oh, that's a really good question. I think we play on normal. Yeah, I think we play on normal difficulty. Mm -hmm. And Jacoby writes here, for context, they got in trouble because of the release uh, date of Silent Hill stole sales from Castlevania, which pissed off Konami because their flagship franchise got outdid by a then new IP. Yeah. That kind of explains then, a lot. And then they just run the IP to the ground. Yeah, there, there's many other reasons behind it. And uh, Kindle Bear says here, normal or normal veteran? I think it's right. Regular I normal? think it's normal. Just normal, normal. <laughs> Yeah, regular. I don't think we sh shows anything special. Because uh, I I don't remember. It's quite a long time since you created these characters, but I think it's just, I mean, standard, normal. We'll see when we um, end the game. Uh, just remember, Kindle Bear, that if you're gonna play with us, you need to have the Ashes of Marmoth expansion. Because Eric didn't have it, and he had to bought it before we could play together. Yeah. That's a little bit stupid, actually. 
Yeah, but I, I, I and I, I can't understand why because there's no difference mm -hmm. in these parts. They could just uh, cap the game for you when you reach. It the... would have been very easy to do. Yeah, but they didn't. Uh... I mean, oh. you can level up in your game, but if you don't have Ashes of Marmoth, you can't play with us. Yeah. And that's not me being mean or something. Yeah, Promise. it seems to be the client host that is um, making troubles on this. I'm sorry to say, it seems oh. a bit finicky. What a cool, cool statues. Yeah, uh, Kindle says he has the expansion, so now right. I can look at the statues. Yay! Yeah, they were kind of cool. I yeah. don't know what they are doing, but... Holding up uh, the bridge? No, they are standing with the palms up. Oh. They're what? lifting the roof? <laughs> because it's a party? I, I have no... <laughs> oh, well, you're funny. <laughs> I try my uh, best. And I'm really, really tired. Starting to feel like the fact that I've been sick for a week. Yeah. Well, if it says it's installed, Kindle, then uh, you should be good. Yeah, you should have the green screen with the lady on. <laughs> with big no boobies. Tech. Yeah, and the really weird, she ha must have some scoliosis or something. Or a really hard whalebone corset, because, um, wow. And here's yeah, the last one. It looks mildly painful. <laughs> mildly, I would say. <laughs> Please kill me. Oh, Whoa. I leveled up. There we go, level 27. Good for you, I'm not really there yet. Oh, I'm almost dead. Why yeah, because we have dead? the special character up here. Oh, he's and shooting at us, that's and why. And he, sh he shoots AOEs too. Well, he's trying to take care of some trash over here for us. I have another one on my ass over here. They really don't like you. No, they go for me a lot. They always do. It's the same yeah. thing in Secret World. <laughs> They always attack you, even though I'm the tank. Yeah, Secret World, though, it has a smarter AI. Yeah, they attack the healer first. Uh, he the says healers. here, Kindle says he has the big bosomed lady. Yeah, then you have the right version of the game. <laughs> well, considering this is supposed to be medieval and everything, she's allowed to have bosoms. Alright. Yeah, otherwise it shouldn't be a lady underneath the age of 50. No, no, I mean, they tied everything up really hard. Oh, you just the general word bosom, I mean. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, okay. It's an old lady word. Well, I mean, we had um, a TV, TV series here in Sweden called uh, Historia Athana, History Eaters. Uh, they were eating food from different time periods. Mm-hmm. Uh, they actually did quite a good job in explaining the different clothing and lifestyle of these periods. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacoby, but um, are there any werewolves in this game, sis? Werewolves? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jacoby, there's no werewolf titty in this game. <laughs> no, I, uh, I think there is mostly skeletons. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my. <laughs> this is the thing he's been a bit salty about. He was writing here that, remember how in the medieval ages that salmon was considered a peasant food? Yeah, I mean, they, in the... Uh, was it 1800s? 19th centuries, yeah. they ate oysters in London as a... That's a poor people's food. Didn't you tell me also that there was a contract between, like, the, the, la the lord of the manor and the servants that they were... Weren't, uh, shouldn't be eating more than salmon than four times a week or something. Uh, it was herring. Herring. Yeah. They 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 had it in the contracts that they shouldn't be forced to eat herring more than three or four times a week. Which well, don't mind if I do. I like herring. Yeah, but herring is also a peasant food, and it's. Kind of considered a delicacy today. Nah, I don't Pickled know. Pickled herring. It's still kind of cheap. Yeah, but uh, it's always for parties. 
<laughs> yeah, well, and I can right. agree with the fact that it's kind of ironic that most medieval diets are way better than our current diets. Well, our current diet is crap, so... Mm -hmm. We're eating way too much sugar and starch. Mm -hmm. And way too much chemicals. I try to eat as little sugar as possible and starch-free and all that, but it's really, really hard. Well, you know, I'm a keto girl, so... But not when I'm sick, because I, I can't be asked to make special food. And sometimes I do, for my kids. Kilrian, the Tainted Soul, I think... Uh, oh, I died. Oh, 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 something is shooting at me. Oh, it was a haunted noble. <laughs> where, where did you go? I died. Oh, well, that's not good. No. That's really ah. bad. Wait, wait, wait. I can try to open a portal. I'm yeah. just you... gonna run off. Oh no! Jeez! Let's see now. He writes here too. You are talking to a man who eats sardines out of the can constantly. Then there is me, right. the dude whose grocery bill is less than 100 euros. Yeah, that's true. I eat. Oh wow. Have you opened the portal? Yes, I have. Oh, thank and you. I'm kind of surrounded. Oh my! Jeez! Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah! I'm dying. <laughs> Shit, is he actually getting more? Like summoning I more people? I don't know, I died. Yeah, now they all have aggro on me, so I'm going to kite a little bit. I think uh, we might have gone down here a little bit too early. Um, there we go. Because our current quest is speak to Calderos outside of... Um, I'm gonna kill some problem. trash around here, so... Oh, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. yeah they well, hurt a he, lot. If he doesn't have summons, uh, then there are a lot of trash in this area. Yeah, but they're kind of <laughs> high level too, so... No, he summons. Oh yeah, I think we should escape from here and never come back. Alright, ah, no, I died. Again. Okay, um... Break. I'll kite a little bit so you can come back and get your HP, but uh, your we XP. we can't go out of there. That's the problem, so we have to go... ...back to the town. I'm gonna pick up this, and come over here. Oh, there you're at. Okay, I'm out. I'm at yeah, Devil's Crossing now. <coughs> and then we go back to your portal. Alright. In Arcovian Undercity. Yeah. Choose the right one. Uh, Arcovian Undercity. Yeah. Your portal. There. Uh, we should escape from here and never come back. Isn't that to everyone who lives in Malmö? Uh, maybe. A little bit. Alright, so let's go over here. They are all dead out here at least. Yeah. We are way yeah. too low level to be able to handle that guy. He's All right, so this door then. But doesn't this lead us back to where we were? Oh yeah, it did. I mean, this is. Is it? Yeah, that's back to the floor we were on. Hmm. Damn it. Yeah, because if you look on the map here, this is where we were. All right. So where are we supposed to be going? Uh, we have the floor three entrance of the Undercity, so we go... Arcovian Undercity exit. Yes. It's down here. Yes, so let's just head to the exit, because I I'm starting to get a little bit tired <laughs> right now, too. Yeah, I should really go to bed soon, too. Oh, and my dog I... is back. Yeah, I hear him. Mm, yeah. I don't know what he wants, but he's uh, back. He wants some pets. Yeah, probably. Uh, I think... Maybe this way. Oh. Nope. Evil's blocked off. Never I think mind. it's this way. Yeah, it's probably don't the make, longest way around. Don't make, don't make me open the map. No, we have to go down here. Here. I can okay. see a dungeon crawler without gauntlets. I have no not seen such bravery playing in my head. <laughs> yeah, you fucking know it. I've, uh, I have not seen such Ooh. bravery. 
We have a star here too. Billy. Billy. Yeah. Big fluff ball. Yeah. Want some attention, I think. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. I think it was in my bed actually. <laughs> <laughs> because it came out from the bedroom, so. Yeah, then he probably was uh, or hiding underneath the bed. Yeah, probably. You usually don't jump up onto the bed. No, you told me he had two short legs. So oh, he thinks he has two short legs. Ruin entrance. Let's have a look there, just for fun. Alright. If we're back to the start now, I don't know what to do. I will hey, do. There's a ghosty here. Oh! Hello. Please stay your weapon. Play many ages ago, my people made a grave mistake, and now we pay for our hubris, eternally bound to this to this land. <coughs> but our children do not deserve the fate placed upon them by our curse. My daughter Lutra now stalks the broken hills as a hideous harpy. She suffers for my sins in the body of a monster, bitter, twisted, and having never known a mother's love. Please, mortal, find my daughter, deliver a swift and merciful end to her eternal torment. Sure, we can do that. Let's kill his daughter. <laughs> and there's a portal right, over here. Alright, so there's a portal somewhere around here. Yes, here it is. And we're in Broken Hill. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. We have missed a uh, shrine. Yeah, we have. Hideous Harpy. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, hideous Jacobi. Harpy? You would still love it, even if it was a Hideous Harpy. Where did you go? I went to Devil's Crossing. Okay, I'll go back there. And we'll finish up there? Yeah, thought so. So, that's going to be the end of this episode. We have discussed a lot of male actors that were both hunky and old and hunky, and... Uh, videos and video games has been good yeah so so it's time yeah we have to wrap this up and we'll we'll be back on thursday yes on thursday next week so have a good night everyone and thanks for joining us yeah and i hope we see you on thursday yeah so do i good night good night and have a good one bye 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 bye